Welcome everyone. Today I am here with an unboxing from the stationery selection. This is a product that I had only seen at this particular shop. They have been figuring out shipping during the pandemic from Japan, so shipping was a little bit more expensive than it would normally be because they can't ship through Japan Post, but uh, even with the shipping, this item I think was still fairly reasonable. I have seen this on Etsy as well, and the price was was way more than, than it was here at the shop. So uh, it came with this cute little um, tea in a little packet. I think this must be green tea. It says you can drink it hot or cold, so I'll probably have that at some point. This came directly from Japan, so that's super nice. And they sent this little business card with a little thank you note on it. Dear Mystery, thank you so much for the support. And Arigato, which I think is thank you in Japanese. Please stay safe. It's, it's always so nice. You know, anytime I have ordered from a shop directly from Japan, they have just been so incredibly nice. It's it's really nice to get such little nice notes. Okay, so I'm, this is the box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm not sure I can save this washi tape because it is on uh, yeah, let's not worry about that because <laughs> it is on tissue paper and washi tape is pretty delicate as it is. It's a very cute little sticker. And this particular website has a stationery box as well. I've never purchased their stationery box, but um, I've seen some unboxings on YouTube from their stationery box. In fact, the person who puts the stationery box together I've seen her talk about um, how she selects things for the box and it's always looked like it's been uh, a pretty cool box full of stuff. <laughs> I just I just didn't know if I could justify the shipping from Japan, but when this came up, this was something I had my eye on, so I was really happy to see that they had it. Uh, and so this is from um, the Superior Labor. I, I had another, <laughs> I had a pen case recently that I got from them and this is similar. I was, I was actually trying to figure out what this material is that they had on this little string here. Um, they have so many cool textiles in Japan. You know, Japan was never really on my radar as someplace I really wanted to visit, but like since I've gotten into stationery and pens and everything, now I, I kind of want to go to uh, Japan just, just to check, check out all their stationery, <laughs> basically. So at some point, at some point in the future. All right, so and I think this box is specific to uh, the Superior Labor. I think this box came from them. It's really pretty. So yeah, it's the Superior Labor, Labor Holiday 2020. So I believe that the, and I have it over here, I'm pointing at it, but I'm not showing you. I believe that this pen case that I got previously was also part of the 2020 holiday collection. And this has been working really well. I've filled it with a particular type of pen. I actually think I'll do a flip through at some point, but not today because that today is all about this little sweet item here. So let's go ahead and open the box. Oh, that's nice. So it comes with this little um, like a key holder, it says leather tool holder, um, this little tag, and then, and then it has an attention tag all in Japanese. So I don't know what that says. If anybody can read Japanese, feel free to tell me what that says. But um, my husband took Japanese in college and then um, he was really bad at it. So <laughs> he didn't really learn it. It's, it's a very complicated language, it seems. Okay, so we have all these little nestled bags here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and then put this all together and you can take a look at that sweet baby right there while I pack this box back up. So this is another type of pen case and I got this in the dark brown color. I actually was considering getting a an all leather uh, pen roll in this color, but then when the um, the textile one came out, I got that instead, and that just came in one leather color, which I think is the light brown. So this has a little loop here where you can undo that, and then it looks like you can put it in two different places if you filled this up a whole lot. So there's nothing on the back other than the strap. And actually, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more, I think. That was a little too zoomed in. So like I said, there's nothing on the back other than the strap. 
Uh, and then there's this flap here and that opens up and then there is a little pen compartment. Um, you could also put other tools in here. I think this is officially called a tool case. So, you know, you really could put anything in here. Let's see, I do have some fountain pens off to the side. It looks like it's a little bit short. So I wonder if it would hold all the fountain pens. So I, lately I've been putting some fountain pens that I use frequently on my desk in this little holder. And this holder actually came out of my Galen zip case. I'd put other things in that. I've actually completely redone my Galen um, zip case setup. And that case is being just used for ink swatches now and pen testing. So um, I plan to do a flip through of that at some point soon. But in order to accommodate what I wanted to put in there, I had to take this little guy out, but I didn't want to make it so that it was unused. I actually was wondering if you could just put the whole thing in there. Looks like it might be a tight fit. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, but which would be kind of silly anyway. I mean, you don't need that additional support, but let's see if the pens fit. Uh, so that is kind of a tight fit. That is my Pilot Custom 74. I think that the uh, Bennu Briolette will fit just fine. So that's interesting. So, so it is a little bit short, so it's not gonna fit all your fountain pens. This is a pocket pen. This is the Pilot Prera. So that would definitely fit. So maybe this is going to be another pocket pen holder here. I probably could put, um, you know, some little scissors or all kinds of stuff. This one's definitely not gonna fit. This is the gigantic Opus 88 Omar. Well, let's see. So if I put it that way, um, I could put it on the bigger loop, actually. I think that it's, it may be actually a little bit more flexible than I think. Oh, and that's interesting. Yeah, you can hear that the leather is very squeaky because it's new. So, but from what I've heard, that squeakiness will go away. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna keep doing it. This other one also has, also has that same issue. Yeah, the leather's gonna squeak until you kind of broken it in, but this one's already getting pretty soft and I've only used this for a couple weeks, I would say, in its current setup. So I think it's only gonna get softer over time. Oh God, excuse my sweater with all my dog fur on it. I uh, was just messing with the dog before I filmed this video. <laughs> so um, so yeah, so the, there's a variety of things that you could put in here. I guess you could put, let's see, let's try and put some other things from my desk in here. So I've got like a little, hmm, that might be tough, like a little eraser. Um, probably a little pair of scissors, if you had a smaller pair of scissors could fit in there. Um, hmm. I bet, I bet, well, I won't do that on the channel. Let's see. So it could fit some smaller items. I actually don't have any smaller items in my drawer. Let's see, so I have a little box knife, for example, that would fit in there. And actually I think there's, yeah, there's a little clip on the other side. So you could fit a variety of things in here. I was planning on just putting pens in here and then um, maybe some little pen accessories up in this front pocket. I think that it would stretch if you have some things in here and, and it'll mold to the items that you have in here. So I'll have to decide what I wanna put in here, but it's super cute. I feel like it's very, um, it's very professional looking. I think you could probably use it for work if you wanted to hold some work, writing implements and that sort of thing in here. I just, uh, I saw it and I'm always kind of a sucker for new kind of new looking cases and that sort of thing. So that's why I got this one. Oh, and I'm wondering, wondering if that would fit in the, no, it seems a little floppy, but I think you could. You could actually, if you have a bunch of stuff in there, you could just hold it like that and maybe put it on the, the second loop because it does give you a little leeway. Or you could wrap it like that. Well, let's see. I will decide what you put in here because I, I hadn't really planned to put anything in here on camera other than pens, but I'll play with it 
a little bit and see. I pr you probably, I'm, al I'm always looking for watercolor setups. So let me find a palette, a smaller palette. Aha, so you could fit that in there and then you probably could put portable little pocket brushes in here. That might actually be a good use for this. And then it would fit, it would still fit on that first one. And then, like I said, I would put little portable brushes in here. I think there'd be plenty of room for that. Ooh, that might be a good idea, actually. All right. Okay, to be continued. Not sure what I'm going to put in there yet, but <laughs> it's it seems to have a lot of versatility as far as what you could put into it. So, like I said, I will do a follow-up once I've decided how to set it up. And then, of course, like two days later, I'll completely change it up again, which because that seems to be <laughs> that seems to be the way I operate. But there you go. So that's it for today. I will put a link down below to uh, where I purchased this from the stationery selection. It may not be available because items like this tend to be pretty popular. I will also see if I can find the link to where I saw this on uh, Etsy so that you can get it there. Sometimes when things are, this, I think this might be a special edition for holiday 2020, so it may not be back, but they're always doing really uh, cute, new different kinds of pen cases and, and tool cases. So uh, the Superior Labor is definitely a really cool brand and um, they're sort of a small maker, so it's nice to support them. They're certainly not local to me since they're in Japan, but, uh, but they're still a small maker and nice to support. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. I hope to see you next time, but until then, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.